Welcome to Indulge and Beyond. In this episode, we are going to take you to a day trip adventure to an unbelievably blue lake at the bottom of an enormous glacier. At 4000 meters altitude, it is literally breathtaking. It is Humante Lake. In this episode, we will share everything you need to know about Humante Lake Hike. Venturous hiking experience from beginning till end. It is scary, but every bit of it is worth. It is a very easy task organizing Humante Lake Hike. The expedition is common tourist attraction with daily tours. You can book via several options. We rented a car for the whole day and Brian was our driver and our guide who took us to this adventurous hiking. So we are heading towards Humantai Lagoon today. Um, leaving at 5.30 in the morning, waiting for our car to arrive. We are all ready. Um, you can see kids are really tired to wake up in the morning every day. But again, this is a long drive, uh, almost what, three, three and a half hours from Cusco. Um, so that's the plan. Stay with us and hike with us way to Humanta Lagoon. Yeah, so the these same. are Peruvian breads and these are sweet bread. Yeah, so especially Cuscanian bread. So we are buying some Cuscanian bread. He said these are sweet bread, so we want to try some. And it is 10 salas and we are taking the one with chocolate. And you can see there are many stores if you want. You're, and they are selling this in the morning, so if you are coming and driving by, stop over and grab it. This is like you can eat slowly whole day. Coffee and Kuskinian break breakfast, this is good. Look the bread is the chip, Kuskinian cheese. Oh, okay. Like this is chip? No, that's cheese. Uh, yeah, that was. On our way, we found a local market. market and wanted to stop and explore. So we are going to check out a market here. In Kilpata, that's the place. In Kilpata. Look at this, we have a local market here. This is where it goes early in the morning. This is where people buy their groceries. They are preparing their stuff. And more. Oh, okay. Vegetables. Oh. oh, they are selling them, so you can buy. Okay, these are all lamb, sheep. Lamb. In the middle of the market, this animal they are putting in the middle of the market. And all the produce and other stuff in the surroundings. We saw a Peruvian market. This is near to Cusco. This is more between communities market. Community market, yeah. For example, in Cusco, we, are, we will not see some market like yeah. this. And the other one is quinoa with milk. Oh, okay. So those, those drinks are one sole, two soles. And the bread with the cheese. Yeah, always we share so with bread with cheese, bread with avocado, mm. and also that cake. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Brian is getting some breakfast. You can drink it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. From Cusco, the drive is almost three hours. We are in the south city of Bolivia, the village. From there, we purchase the tickets to enter the Humanta Lake. So we go inside the They have a course stuff. Yeah, there's another oh, yeah. another site for Inca winds, which is in the very remote. We have a trek two days from here, and this horse they are taking. 
you know, that's up and goes everything along with them. So this is where you come and park and you can see there are many hikers. They are going to Machu Picchu, the Inca Trail and they will do all other hikings from here. Those are like two to three days of hiking. Oh. The hiking was going to be 2.6 miles. A small market. You can buy little, some food. Peak elevation of Humante Lake was at 13,900 feet. We start walking towards the Humante Lake. This is the base. You park your car. You have to buy your entry ticket from the nearest village that we purchased from there, 20 solids per head. So, for us it's 80 solids. They're going to check somewhere front. So now we're going to walk half an hour. It's a little bit slowly going up. Then we'll see. They, take, they check your tickets here. Umante Lake is a popular day hike located at the base of Sorai Pampa village. Hour the strenuous 2.6 mile loop trail takes on average Two hours to complete. We go all the way over here and somewhere here. So there's the lake, Hamantai Lagoon. It's high altitude, that's why you're getting out of breath pretty, pretty fast. So walk slow, take your breath. The hike is steeper so, than the hike to Rainbow Mountain, but it's shorter. That's not a mountain. Look at this, it's coming off. From all this mountain so, so and throughout the year for centuries that's why Inca find this place to do the establishment yeah, yeah. And we are walking now we have to go the midway <coughs> we are somewhere destination is the foothill of that it's the foothill of that we took our time and we took it Down. slow and steady. It's to up. uphill the entire to, way. No, there, there, there. Okay, so that's where we have to walk, if you can see. I don't know. That's how, that's where you have to walk, see? You have to climb up high and then go down. So this is how the roads are, you have to walk. We try to see if there are any horses for, so we can get some horses for the kid. Because it is getting, you know, climbing up more, getting tougher. So we are seeing on the valley there, there are a few horses. Slippery in places, so make sure you we wear good go? hiking yeah, yeah, shoes. To go. Oh, okay. But the horses are there. But you have to cross this river, is it? Yeah, over there, but we are... This that's mountain to go to Machu Picchu. Oh, okay. Three days walking. Three days. Yeah. So what's the name of this one? Osangate. Uh, Osangate, and that one? Salcante. Salcante. Okay. Now we, are going, we are going to arrive in the top of the mountain. No, then, no. Of not that. top, but on the uh, bottom of that no, one. Closer. You have to cross this valley and go onto yeah. the bottom. Okay. This, this you are, can stay in this marvelous luxury dome campsite at Sorai Pampa. And you will be able to stay a night in the domes with all the luxury they can provide. And you can also book bio-Indian expeditions. This is a very good. Once you woke up in the morning, this is the view. We are front. How amazing, how beautiful, huh? That is great in Peru. The hiking is difficult. Very steep. In fact, you are starting at around 3,800 meters above sea level and finishing at 4,200 meters above sea level. 
This matters because you may encounter altitude sickness or at the very least become lightheaded or short of breath very easily. Look at the place from where path you have to go. some horses here but we are waiting for Brian because he went to get some horses for us now there is a whole herd of horses but we'll wait for Brian okay we're here making some deal to get the horse so we'll take the horse go to the pig and then we'll coming back by foot so here is Brian he's making the deal then we'll come down by walk because going up is uh, tougher than coming down this is all down so yeah he's making some deal let's see yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We took the horse, which is expensive here than in the mountain. But okay, we'll take one, we'll go up, and while coming down, we'll just walk down. Each way they are asking 100, which was souls, which was like 90 souls going up and down in Rainbow Mountain. But anyway, just going there. So we have to see the kids will be. You got a someone black one here, and they are still here. If you are not very fit or tired or simply enjoy riding horses, you have the option to rent a horse, which is led by a local member of the community up to the top. Renting a horse also helps support the livelihood of the local inhabitants. Right. Happening here that we are all riding our own horse. So the main guy in the front in the horse there, we are all in the middle. There are two guys over there, two tourists, and then uh, Puka, Ashi, Ashi Baba, Puka is going, and then it's me, oh, oh. and then Brian, and then at the back is Sima. So this is all following, these horses are following by themselves. So, yeah, going, going up, lean front, going down, lean back. Okay, we'll show, we're going there, in the foot of the mountains. Hem and tail leg. So, good? <laughs> okay. That was an experience here. We're going to cross the river there. You know? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Brian, don't do that. Brian, don't do that. <laughs> you stay back. Brian, no, 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 no. Puka, stay. Slow. I'm going to die. No, no, slow, slow. You're fine. Slow, slow, slow. Slow. <coughs> slow. Ooh, why you're all so mean? Puka, you're riding horse by yourself. Ah, she said. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> uh, we are good. So this is this is a quite an experience. Hey! Stop hey! Eating no! Each other. No! They're eating no, each other! No. Wait! Wait! Stop wait! No! Okay. okay. No. We're going up. Slow, slow. And the horses they always prefer to go. Try with the clip. You see? No. see? Just go inside the clip. Hey, hey, hey! No. See? No. Yeah. It's a clip. Hey! See? See what's hot? Side of the clip. Like here, what we are doing here. Side of the clip. It's coming up from there. We came, we came from there. From there, we are going there. Now, this is the last trace, which is really tough. Going up. Out of the group, Puka, you are riding your horse. You, baby, like you. Are you okay, <laughs> we cross the bridge. I cannot take because this is too much jumping. I can <laughs> drop my camera. Hey, hey, <laughs> slow. Aye, aye, aye. Oh. slow. It is slow, slow. I this way. <laughs> my following. Right. Puka, Ashi is good. <laughs> you guys have fun, Ashi. Huh? Bachi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh. That's a way. He's listening to that guy. Okay, so look at this. This is the horse side. The horse goes from this side. 
way. And if you walk, you walk from that side. Pick your map. And you can also there's another way to come. <laughs> the other side while you're coming down, you see from that side. I, 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 I. <laughs> I the, if you are walking, you come from that side. And then you go straight up. And this is the horse way, which is the rough way. Because they are all rough and rocks and everywhere. But horse, they prefer to bring the horse from this side. So we, you can walk. Good. But in some time you start running and then, you know, I can lose control. Hey, hey, I can lose control. Hey, hey. <laughs> this is tough to film like this, but yeah. See mine at the back. Yeah. Hey, hey, slow. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, 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 Wait, no, wait. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yeah. It's tough, but yeah, guys, this is the this is this is an experience. I did that way back in uh, India when I was a kid, going to Amarnath Yatra. But this is here. We are going to <laughs> Harman Thai Lake Lagoon, top of those mountains. I'll look at this it's a waterfall here you can now see that it's going to go up from here it is going up from there I came down hey. so this is the beauty here see it's, it will all follow look at the beauty it's all follow now it's going up you have to lean front lean front the beauty of Andes You're there, Sima? Whoa, whoa, hello, why? Oh, so yeah, you can take horse. When coming back, you can take horse from here. Like, from here. We have to go on the top over there. You guys are okay, kids? Ashpuka? Good. Ashi? Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the back. All the way from here. We're going there to there. Yes. Look at the view, it's coming. Wow. Look at that. We're going to jump off the view. Yes. No fight. No fighting. And they want to prefer to go the side of the cliff. They don't want to go from the inside. They want to go from the outside. You know, that's horse always does like that. So be careful. Kids are doing good. We have to go on the top over there. Okay. There you go. Look at this cliffside and they all prefer to come from the cliffside to come from the cliffside now we are going up yeah. almost there I think that's a that's a place the horse will stop and then there will be some walk it looks like yeah there's a lake over there so there will be a little bit of walk Ashibaba from all the way from there to here. Okay, I think it's the place now I'm going to come down. And I'll stop here. So this is where we came. It was really an adventurous ride. Oh my gosh, it was just by the cliff. Oh, this is the most adventure we have ever. ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, absolutely. So this is where the horse drops you and after that you have to walk they say it's 10 minutes so let's see going down is 10 minutes no you have 10 more minutes to <coughs> go all the up there walking 10 20 minutes more up to camp this area so that's where the lake is almost here <laughs> we haven't made it yet but we are almost here almost
Joseph. We arrived. We did it. <laughs> we arrived, yeah. We did it. Samantha Lake is named after the nearby mountain and is considered one of the most beautiful and sacred lakes. Its turquoise water with the snow-capped mountains in Sulkante in the background whispers directly to you the reason why it's so popular. Save some because we need water Mass when we go down. Place. Human Thai Lake. Must visit. We are Cusco. Three hours drive. Then three or two hours hiking or you can rent a horse. This is the place. What a beauty. Must visit. The story of Humanti Lake is the legend of two brothers whose names are Salkante and Asangate. It is said that both brothers decided to undertake a journey to unknown lands in order to obtain food and put an end to the famine to their family. This is called Apachet. Apai means bring, Chita means bring you once they arrive at the top of one mountain, yeah. so yeah, careful. these are all custom. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to put it slowly. No, so, no, don't put it. Okay, put it. Okay, we need Give you, come up, up, up. You can spend more time here and hike all the way up there to get a different view of Humanti Lake. Humanti Lake is accessible all year round, although during the rainy season you will find fewer tourists. Remember, unlike the Inca Trail through Tour, Humanti Lake Tour is always available. The climate of the highlands and mountains is not very predictable. However, we can see a considerable number of tourists visiting during the dry season, which runs from May to mid-October. The season undoubtedly provides a full day of sunshine to take that photo that we can't wait to post on Instagram. indulge and beyond and we have brought to you to the best adventure you can ever have and you're in Peru I would say one of the best adventure in Peru in Peru in near Cusco and this is pronounced that human Thai Lake is three hours from Cusco you must visit this place and what you are watching at the back the beauty the beauty of the lake and then so in the case of the lake whole blue turquoise color can be seen more clearly Look at this view from another angle. The snow melts and the lake stays throughout the year. You cannot take bath here, it is prohibited. No draw rock throwings either. But that's the beauty. Humante Lake did not disappoint us. It's a must visit place in Peru. We would say it's one of our best part in Cusco. But the truth is, we fell equally in love with all the hikes we did in Peru. Rainbow Mountain, Lake Humante and Machu Picchu were all hikes we love to repeat. So please watch our other videos where we have covered Rainbow Mountain and Machu Picchu as well. Not good, it's great. What's to come here, you know, it's what to come here. There's lots of hiking, you can get horse, you know, 100 soles to come up. You have to spend some money, but also it is, you know, what to come here and see this place. This is... Humante Lake is located at 4,200 meters, which is in the range that you need to be careful about altitude sickness. Altitude sickness can strike regardless of your fitness level. It's important to give yourself time to acclimate to the altitude. Drink lots of water and go slow. Now we are heading down. So let's see how long does it take? What time is it now? Twelve thirty. Okay, we are starting to head down now. Let's see what time we'll reach. 
Bye bye, Humante Lake. We'll come back again sometime. Till then, goodbye. Hiking down was pretty tough as well. I would say moderate difficulty yeah. level. In addition to the altitude, it makes it a lot harder. Some parts of the hike were definitely slippery. The seeing there, they're coming out from the valley, which is a little bit, well, coming up, a little bit, you know, less tiring, but it's still going to get tired because it is coming up. Now, once we are here, from there is all became up, up climb in the hill. Then we are coming down from there, up to that hill. So this is like almost 70, 80 degree, 45 to 70 degree up. You'll get tired. Yeah, be careful going down. We are almost there. This is the final stretch. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because you are going up, but uh, yeah, you will be there. Gracias, thank <laughs> Gracias, you. Gracias, yeah. This is a long way to go down. You see this one? That's the way. We take a long way to go down, but it will be easy this way. Other way is that side, that way we came from with the horse. But if you go down that way, it will be really risky because horses are going and roads are all rocky. This way, only the, you know, you have to walk, so no horse this side. So going down a little longer, we go like in twinging and then go over the there and then there's a valley over there, we'll reach there. So let's go, kids, let's go. This is the route we took when we were hiking up with the horses. Walk penguin, walk. Ashibaba, walk penguin. Do a penguin walk. Let's take the safe way. This guy is coming down. This is the, this is the longest stage, which is like 45 degree or 50 degree up. The descent is steep and some places it is slippery and loose gravel so you have to take your time and walk slow. So we have to go all the way down there. <laughs> hey careful! What if you use a bike? You will fall. There is no bike door. No, because the gun is going down the hill. So this is the pathway of river during rainy season. All water comes rush cutting down and then go from here all the way down in the valley. And you have to walk very safely here. Or maybe the road get closed, you have to take the other side. So yeah, now it is dry season so no, no water. We are taking the short one and it's very steep. Otherwise you can go from this the zigzag way. But kids wants to go this way. So that's everything we came down from there. But we are coming towards the plane Halfway area. on the path, you plane will area. get truly yes, fabulous views. Towards the end, apart Down from a couple of minor loose gravel sections, it was a smooth sailing. We're still descending down. You have to watch your step, otherwise you can slip. Take small baby steps. This is all the way we came. Wow, look at that how steep it was. Way we came all the way this is where you have to climb this is the hard part the climb. view at every step is mesmerizing now we're almost there oh, we came all the way okay we are at the base you can see we are at the valley we came down and this is mountains all around us we came all the way down from there that's the valley where we are
If you are worried about coming down a prolonged steep track, you might want to bring a pair of hiking poles. I know about it. Here's the information if you want to rent this hostel. There is a restroom here. You can stamp your passport. They have drink, sandwich, coffee, tea. Oh, they nice. You can stay here and you can rent this place. There is food. Oh, you can have food. Take some pictures, shall I? You have the creek, and you can hear the creek, and this is walking path. In spite of the strenuous hiking, I would say the trekking is absolutely worth to Humante Lake. The Humante Lake hike is rated as moderate and I suppose that's relatively true compared to the multi-day yeah. hikes people embark in Peru. Still, for a day hike, I'd consider it more challenging. There is a... maybe a... I think there is a path there. I think there is a path there. Okay, we are almost at the base where we parked our car. Look at these. So this is where we started. We are finishing and it's almost 2.30. So that's two hours. We started at 12.30. And so, ooh, we are getting some coffee here. There's sugar. Should I sugar? I need a little bit of more sugar. Yeah, I think that's good. That much is good. Yeah. So we are trying some coffee. Kids are trying some Gatorade. Humante Lake is in a remote area, and driving was along a windy, steep single lane dirt road. You'll have to share the narrow road with large sprinter tourist shuttle, vans, buses, and horses. From our experience, we can say, for anyone looking to add some high-energy activity to their Peru itinerary, a hike to this crystalline mountain lagoon is definitely a must. Whether you are looking for a fantastic day trip hike from Cusco or something a bit more rugged, you are sure to enjoy the spectacular scenery of Humante Lake. We hope this video provided you all the information you were looking for and at the same time you enjoyed this journey exploring Humante Lake with us. So don't forget to subscribe, share and put a comment. And keep us following. And keep us following and watching and let us know which place do you want us to visit next. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>